So we have a, uh, a Bitcoin question, and because it's a Bitcoin question, I happen to have a little something for before we ask the question. <laughs> so uh, I think it's important that we talk about Bitcoin from time to time to time, because when it's going through the roof, I get hundreds of LinkedIn and Facebook friends coming out of the woodwork telling me how they can make, uh, you know, 10% a day or an hour. Or I don't know what it is. And then when it tanks, they all disappear and it's crickets. Yeah. And of course, it's gone up and it's gone down. It's gone up. It's pretty crazy. But someone asked a question I thought was really good. My buddy just put 5K into Bitcoin. He's almost a millionaire. Why is property more valuable? Well, I doubt that he just put 5K into Bitcoin. It's probably something way back when, when, uh, when Bitcoin was at its infancy that uh, would bring him to the point of millionaire status. But I will tell you that, uh, someone that I heard about very recently just got incredibly scammed by a Bitcoin scam. And what happened was, I mean, it was going up like you could watch it. It's right there on the screen. Isn't it true? It's right there in the computer for goodness sake. Don't you see it going up? Can't you see it going? Up? And I said, yeah, that's interesting. Uh, and to me, to be honest, yeah, I think it's fool's gold. And the reason I say that is because I can't touch it. I can't feel it. I don't know about it. And I do know of someone that lost hundreds of thousands of dollars investing in this scam. I'm not saying Bitcoin is a scam. I'm saying that what he invested in that was like Bitcoin was a scam. So when something's in its infancy and it's going up and it's going down, you're absolutely right that there can be incredible gains and incredible profits for some people. But me, I like to touch it. I like to feel it. I like to monetize it. If I can move somebody in that very quickly after I buy it and start making a monthly dividend, I'm a very happy camper. And if I do it with our business model, which I always would, that means I'm going to get some down payment money. I'm going to get a premium on the, purchase of the home, excuse me, on the sale of the home. I'm going to get some benefits in doing our business model over the top of just real estate. And to me, that's just a safer game to play. That's a longer term game. It's got a residual income attached to it. And for the, uh, for sleeping well at night, that's what I like. I agree. Uh, the only people I know are the people that bought Bitcoin at 20 when it went down to five and then bought it at 50 when it went down to 30. And the sad part is, is like they would have mortgaged their houses to the hilt or they would have sold all of the everything. It wasn't play money that they were playing with. And uh, I think, you know, this it's the tortoise and the hare and the tortoise usually uh, comes out ahead in the long run. Amen. And I will test that going back to that other question you asked me about equity, I would never, ever take a risk on something like Bitcoin using equity in my home. But as far as a real estate deal, already having a customer, already having a down payment, already knowing what they can afford on a monthly basis, I would take equity out of my home every single day. So what you're saying is bet on the sure thing. Don't bet on the, uh, the fad. That's right. That's right. On, on what do they call it in Vegas? Betting on the come. That's yeah. <laughs> it's, it might happen. It might not happen. Who knows?